Welcome back. Happy New Year 2024. It's a pleasure to be back here on the channel. Wrestling Talk. Alexis Curio with you. And of course, WWE did not disappoint on day one of the brand new year because they gave us the return to Monday Night Raw of the great one, the Brahma Bull, the Hollywood superstar, movie star, whatever you want to call him. Dwayne The Rock Johnson made his return to WWE by interrupting the initial former WWE champion dud return. But hell, but hey, Jinder Mahal, the modern day Maharaja, he killed that promo. It did not matter that he was out there and the fans were expecting anybody, pretty much anybody but him, they were expecting. But he went out there. He delivered an anti-American promo in a very classy, very gentleman-like manner to the point that, hell, oh, maybe by the end of it, even before The Rock's return, if they had ended it with just Jinder Mahal making that promo, and I and obviously, if you follow WWE, you know that that promo was winding up. It was going a little bit too long. So somebody else was going to have to interrupt him. So if it had been somebody else, if it had been somebody not named The Rock, I would have been completely fine with it. I would have been completely fine with it because day one, the Monday Night Raw, the Monday Night Raw edition of day one was a pretty damn good show. But The Rock is back. He lays to smack it down on Jinder Mahal, took him out, and then he made quite the statement. He mentioned the fact that he might consider sit sitting, excuse me, at the head of the table. And of course, that's a reference to current tribal chief, current WWE undisputed universal champion, Roman Reigns. And obviously, speculations starting running rampant because we are just three, four months away from WrestleMania 40. And now, WWE, their creative team, Triple H, Paul Avec, whatever you want to call him, they have their work cut out for them. Because they have a very, very big problem on their hands. A very, very big issue that, by the way, is an issue that AEW would love to have. It's an issue that TNA Wrestling would love to have. Today and back in the day, back in 2011, 2012, when they had that stacked roster with Hogan and Bischoff. It's a problem that WWF and WCW would love to have during the Attitude Era. It's a problem that ultimately is going to do WWE a lot of business. They just have to put the pieces together. And again, I'm not coming out here. I'm not. I'm not saying on this video that I have the answers. That I have the. That I have the blueprint. That by the way, everybody else already knows that blueprint. It's been all over social media since The Rock made his return to Monday Night Raw on January first, 2024. But I will say that that blueprint itself does seem to be the best route to take. Now, ever since Cody Rhodes made his return. The running joke in WWE has been finishing the story. And Rhodes, the American Nightmare, was unsuccessful last year in Los Angeles against Roman Reigns in the main event of WrestleMania 39. And since then, wrestling fans have been waiting, expecting WWE to deliver the rematch, myself included, at WrestleMania 40 between Cody Rhodes and Roman Reigns for that title and allowing, finally, Cody Rhodes to finish that story. But, we didn't expect CM Punk's return. And CM Punk wants to finish his story, right? He wants to finally main event or wrestle Mania. Something that in his illustrious career in WWE and AEW, he was never able to do. Again, AEW doesn't have WrestleMania. That's beyond the point. But he had a, a pretty decent career, pretty decent run in all elite wrestling. But now he's back. And The Rock, well, he's got to finish his story. Does he want to call it that? Because Roman Reigns anointed himself, he called himself the tribal chief. Well, there's one man, there's only one man in that family tree that can actually put up a big enough fight. Not just in the wrestling ring, but among the fans in terms of who really is the tribal chief. And of course, that is the great one himself, the 10-time world champion, Dwayne The Rock Johnson. So, and I'm just going to come out and tell you the blueprint that everybody has out there. For everyone to go happy, everyone, everyone to go home happy, everyone gets to finish a story, not their story, not the story, but they get, get they get to finish a story. 
It's very simple. Cody Rhodes versus Randy Orton for the Undisputed Universal Championship at WrestleMania. CM Punk versus Seth Frickin' Rollins for the World's Heavyweight Championship main eventing WrestleMania Day, WrestleMania Night 1. That ultimately has to be the absolute goal. That's the only way CM Punk is going to main event at WrestleMania this year. If he faces Seth Rollins for the world title, that's night one. If by just some unknown plan that we don't know of right now, WWE decides to go with Punk versus Reigns at WrestleMania, that's going to be the main event of night two. So we'll just have to wait and see. But I'm 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 gearing more towards Rollins versus Punk, and then The Rock versus Roman Reigns winner is the ultimate Tribal Chief. There's your three main events for one of the biggest WrestleManias in history if they're able to pull this off. Now, how do they get to that point? We'll just have to wait and see. Could it be predictable? Yes, but for the most part, most stories are predictable. Most good stories, most best stories are predictable. The Yes Movement was predictable. From the minute they announced that Triple H versus Daniel Bryan, the winner would earn a spot in the main event of WrestleMania 30, you damn well knew Daniel Bryan was walking out. WWE World's Heavyweight Champion from New Orleans. And they threw in monkeys in, uh, monkeys in the wrench or wrench monkeys or whatever. I, I forgot the phrase. But they, they threw in stuff to make some of us believe that, well, it might not be Daniel Bryan walking out with the world title. But ultimately, it did. And again... So what if it's predictable? So what? It's scripted. It's entertainment. The Harry Potter movies were all predictable. Didn't stop them from making billions of dollars at the box office. Why? Because people want to be entertained. People want to see the moments. People want to live those moments as they go. Hell, we saw Sami Zayn turning on the bloodline or the bloodline turning on Sami Zayn for months. And when we got there, it was still fantastic. There's nothing wrong with being predictable. You know what is wrong? Being so unpredictable that you can't follow your own damn stories. And that was and always will be called the Vince Russo way. Crash style pro wrestling. Vince McMahon held him at bay during the Attitude Era. But we saw it in full-fledged exposure when he was running WCW Creative. Sorry, but that's just how it works. So with that said, in my opinion, that blueprint... Rock versus Reigns, Punk versus Rollins, Rhodes versus Orton is the best way possible to get to WrestleMania 40 in Philadelphia. WWE might have different plans. If they do, we'll just have to wait and see. So with that said, tune in later on tonight to Monday Night Raw for another episode of the Red Brand on the USA Network. Leave your thoughts, comments, and predictions for the WrestleMania 40 card and the main events. Ultimately, what they, what they might turn out to be. I'm Alexis Carrillo. This has been Wrestling Talk, and I'll see you next time.